long night, guys. The fog has rolled out and it is a spectacularly gorgeous, heading to 80 degree December day. It is Monday, December 6, 2021. So I just did a, a rant about responding to some of the comments on my uh, <clears throat> video yesterday about a depressed doomer considers creating a sustainable path forward uh, and uh, yes little dog I need to pick that computer up you need to get back to your squirrelies like that and so I was uh, in, in that I was breaking down a comment by this irritating little gnat that has shown up recently on Humpty Dumpty Tribe by the uh, name of what is this uh, irritating little gnat's name Matrix Abtalung let's see so I uh, I was breaking it down but I decided to leave uh, this part of his comment as a segue into this short <coughs> commercial endorsement all right you have two channels meaning this Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles trying to get people to feel hopeless see life as pointless and commit suicide <laughs> yes uh, I have two channels trying to trying to get people to commit suicide uh, <laughs> I'm trying. I, I would. I would invite Matrix to uh, send me. I probably have between these two channels, uh, fifteen thousand videos. Uh, I would like to uh, find one. I like Matrix to go through my videos. Send me one example where I have ever promoted suicide why anything out of my mouth can ever be uh, could ever be misinterpreted that hambone little tail uh, is trying to get anyone to commit suicide uh, now there is a big difference between promoting suicide and getting people to commit suicide uh, I am I now I have dedicated my entire life to for, for people to get themselves sterilized maybe he's confusing the word sterilized with suicide they, they sound a little bit alike you know maybe he's uh, driving in his gas sucking car or there's an airboat passing by and he hasn't understood the uh, the difference between suicide and sterilized but don't think that's it so anyway uh, I have made it clear since day one that suicide that you know or, or euthanasia uh, is certainly a viable option it is nothing to be embarrassed about uh, it, it, if your life uh, has gotten to the point where death is preferable to life commit suicide it's uh, it, it is a valid option all right as, as I say I, 50 feet from where I'm sitting uh, the, the you know the blood splattered blood soaked brain splattered couch Lulu finally had had enough of this shit there you go thank you Lulu thank you darling <laughs> you saved my fucking ass anyway but uh, that said I don't have a uh, commercial endorsement here on Humpty Dumpty Drive. You know, I'm always talking about uh, this planet-eating shit, and I, I've had a few rants about this 3D printed bullshit. 
uh, you know, I think they're 3D printing houses now. But anyway, right here on the mainstream media today in Yahoo News, Monday morning Yahoo News from Business Insider, finally a, a uh, <laughs> something, a, a commercial product I can get behind. Take it away, Business Insider. 3D printed suicide pods are now legal in Switzerland. All right. Uh, so the takeaway, these are called Sarco capsules. Sarco capsules flood their interior with nitrogen and reduce oxygen to help an individual pass away. Compared to other methods, Sarco provides a peaceful death without using controlled substances. Uh, Dr. Philip Nitschke estimates the Sarco capsule should be ready for use in Switzerland in 2022. Uh, so we will uh, see when it's coming to the U.S. All right, take it away, Business Insider. Sarco, S, that's S-A-R-C-O, Sarco machines, 3D printed capsules designed for use in assisted suicide have passed a legal review and can now operate in Switzerland. Prototyped in the Netherlands by Dr. Philip Nitschke, the coffin-like Sarco capsule should be ready for operation in Switzerland next year. While the Swiss assisted dying sector's current approach requires the ingestion of liquid sodium phenobarbital, Sarco can provide a peaceful death without using controlled substances. Quoting the, quoting Dr. Death, quote, the benefit for the person who uses it is that they do not have to get any permission. They don't need some special doctor to try and get a needle in, and they don't need to get difficult drugs to obtain. <coughs> Close quote. <clears throat> the capsule is activated from the inside and can be towed to a location that the person wishes to die in, such as an outdoor setting or the premises of an assisted suicide organization. Once activated, you know, from the inside, the capsule floods the interior with nitrogen and rapidly reduces oxygen, causing the individual to lose consciousness and ultimately pass away without choking or panicking. Hallelujah. The Netherlands, Switzerland, Belgium, Luxembourg, Canada, and even Colombia now allow assisted suicide, although each country has different rules about it. Nearly all countries and states that permit the practice require individuals to have an incurable or terminal condition that cannot be remedied and is causing them suffering. Well, this seems like a very easy bar to hit because every single human being on the planet, every single human being on the planet right now including you, is, has an incurable, and I would say, and terminal condition that cannot be remedied and is causing them suffering, and that is called being born, okay? You were born. From the moment you were born till the moment you climb into your little suicide capsule, uh, whether you know it or not, you do have an incurable terminal condition that cannot be remedied and is causing you suffering. <clears throat> 
Switzerland has no laws prohibiting the practice and only considers it an offense to assist a suicide if it is done with selfish motives. Mm -hmm. In the Netherlands, euthanasia can be requested by anyone age 12 and older who has, quote, unbearable suffering with no prospect of improvement, which again is 100% of humanity, but parental consent is required if a child is under 16. According to Regional Euthanasia Review Committee Chairman Jerome Record, the vast majority of euthanasia cases in the Netherlands concern elderly people who are suffering from a serious illness such as cancer. Uh, obviously, I, I wish one of these things was available when my mother was dying of uh, ovarian cancer. In 2020, euthanasia in the Netherlands peaked with 6,938 procedures performed, an increase of 9% <coughs> compared <coughs> to the uh, previous year, quoting uh, Jerome Recourt, quote, these figures are part of a larger development. More and more generations see euthanasia as a solution for unbearable suffering, but the thought that euthanasia is an option in the case of hopeless suffering is very reassuring. Close quote. Hallelujah. Amen. We have some good news. Uh, here in the mainstream media on Monday morning, yes, the po some positive news on suicide. Suicide is a viable option. Uh, anyway, the ghost of Lulu is uh, nodding in agreement uh, 50 feet from me. Uh, the ghost of Lulu says she wishes to hell she had one of those suicide capsules a couple of months ago. But anyway, with that, uh, since I'm not quite ready to climb into a suicide capsule, but I am ready to climb into my kayak, uh, I have to go figure out how to get the goddamn seat back in my kayak so I can head out uh, on this gorgeous day and enjoy it while I still can. And I highly advise you to get out there and enjoy it while you still can, while your suicide capsule is being 3D printed. <clears throat> Bye guys.